poor Sunny's decided to start molting and it is freezing. Sunny is the white one, Macy is the grey beige one, no, the red one, Cindy is the grey beige one. So it's Macy, Cindy, Sunny. I didn't name them. Oh, it's so beautiful. Let's have a go at repairing the mess those two idiots did last night. <laughs> Got a bit of poly filler here. Slap it in. Push it right in that hole. Get in there. This is going to go everywhere. In you go. Slap. Slap, slap. Now that will probably shrink a bit. So I'll come back and give it another layer in a bit. Right, in you go. That will have to do because that's all the polyfiller I've got left and that's going to go off. So I won't be able to refill the holes. The good news is the mirror stayed up. Hello, I'm still in my pyjamas. <laughs> the mirror stayed up. Toby and I are going to finish putting up the shelf tonight. I've got two actually, I might put two there. And then over there, I've got a little peg shelf to go. My mum is on her way. We are going to Tinsfield, which is a National Trust property not far from here. Um, my mum bought me National Trust membership for Christmas this year, which is, which is for me an absolutely brilliant gift because I, um, I need to clear the house out rather than bringing more things in. So, I, I'm really choosy now about what I buy and what I what I bring into the house. I think about it for quite a long time. So the National Trust gift is epic. She'll be here in 25 minutes and I have got laundry I need to pile through and I want to marzipan her Christmas cake. She doesn't like icing on her Christmas cake and uh, she's the only one, She lived, her and my stepdad are the only ones in their household and he doesn't like fruitcake. So I make her a really little one and I ice it in marzipan only. And it's kind of become a little tradition of a thing that I do. I probably will see my mum again before Christmas, but if I don't, just in case, cause you just never know, I'm getting her cake and presents ready now. So I need to shut up and crack on. I've got yesterday's clothes on again because um, <coughs> I, well, because I wear clothes underneath, this doesn't really get grubby, uh, especially if I've not been doing anything mucky. And jumpers, you know, you just wear them until they fall to bits, don't you? But I'm trying not to generate any washing at the moment because we're off tomorrow. tizzy about it quite honestly. I don't recommend going away before Christmas. There's only one thing I would find more stressful, um, you know, going away related, not general stressful, is if we were going away after Christmas. I wouldn't be able to relax and enjoy Christmas at all if we were heading off after Christmas. So um, I'd rather go before Christmas. I'd rather not go at all around Christmas. I like, I would like to go away in October half term instead, but the snow's not here at that time of year. Oh, come on again, what are you doing? What are you doing? You are icing a cake. done then it's a bit wonky 
just slathering it in a bit of jam. Normally you'd use um, something like apricot jam, but I don't have any, so let's just hope that strawberry will be fine. It's just to stick it on, it's not, it's acting as a glue, it's not, you don't want so much that it becomes an ingredient. We used to decorate cakes all the time. I used to love it. I used to beg people to let me do them a celebration cake. Now, I've absolutely zero interest in that. I like doing a Christmas cake once a year, but that is about it. You can tell I haven't done it in a long time. I'm not very good at it anymore. It also doesn't help that it's so blinking cold in this kitchen that Everything's stiff and difficult. Right, that's on, like a little top hat. I find the thicker the um, icing or marzipan, the easier it is to get it all around your cake. I've got this little cardboard thing that was left over from the patisseries that Naomi gave us. Right, let's just tuck the little edges under. Ooh, what a mucky worktop from the cake. I have got some little um, flatteners, but I'm not getting them out. I think my mum prefers a rustic look anyway. Let's plop a little bit of ribbon around it. I should have got white marzipan. I'm just gonna hold the ribbon together at the back with a bit of paper tape. Just keep that around the back and then no one will know it's there. Okay, let's cut out some stars and things. Normally you'd stick it on with alcohol, but I'm gonna go for cold boiled water. This isn't gonna hang around for long. Probably mum will have a slice every day and it'll be gone. It's only little. That's the washing done. There, my mum will be happy with that. I just wetted that to get rid of a bit of the icing sugar and now I'm regretting it. Yeah, my mum will be happy with this. She'll know that it's been made with love. She's here, and look what she's done already. I nearly ate the second one off the top. <laughs> oh, you are monkey. I told you, I said, I said, it won't last long. It's mine. <laughs> it is yours. You enjoy it, mother. Thank you very much. You're very welcome. Unbelievable. Mm. She's pretty. Very beautiful. Very pretty. Now, I reckon it says something like, take your boots off, you filthy animal. Yeah. Beautiful. There you go. Look at that with the sun shining on there. That is glorious. I'm back from doing the football run. The light's terrible here, let's find... Not any better there either. I'm back from doing the football run and uh, I've realised I don't know where my beret is, the one that matches my bee shawl. I had it with me in the cafe at Tinsfield National Trust today and I put it back on, and now I don't know where it is. 
It's not in my car, it's not at home. <laughs> That's my special yarn too. Oh, Margot, stop going crazy. Come on. I've got to go and put the chickens to bed in a second. Uh, yeah, I'm going to send an email to Tinsfield and see if they'll hang on to it for me. I'll pick it up when we get back from France. So tonight we are doing non-drunken DIY. We're gonna have some supper, I'm gonna do that, and then check my list and see what things that I've forgotten to do. I think, I've, I don't wanna say I'm organized, but I feel like I'm almost up together, almost. We're doing sober DIY and it's not half as fun, is it Toby? I only ever do sober DIY. It's not so much fun, is it? No, but look, the shelf isn't falling off the wall. Is it? No. no. It's in a much better position, right. Toby. This is why you should do this stuff all the time instead of me. Finish with. Well, I did want to put that second shelf up, but you said no. I think you've got enough shelves in here. Oh, okay. Ooh. Bye. It's only a little room. This is what we've got so far then. The light is much warmer and cosy than it's showing in the film. And it's hard to show you because it's such a small room, but Grandad's mirror is still up. We've got the shelf that's come out of the snug that's now Toby's gym. We've got these lovely lights. I'll show you again tomorrow. The shelf is up there. So you can put your glass on it. Bed, obviously. So for a tiny little room, I think it for a, a makeshift double guest room for now and again, it's good. Oh yes, please. Where are you? I'm upstairs still. All right. I'll come down. Um, I'll put some things on this shelf tomorrow and perhaps a bit of greenery around the mirror. But I'm gonna have to go like the clappers, I'm running out of time.